Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Ta, T-R-A. Hey, how you doing? Good, what's your name? Ken. Ken, nice to meet you. This is, don't, don't neglect my YouTube audience. Oh. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> We're live, <laughs> worldwide, <laughs> million subscribers. Hello. <laughs> well, here we are in Greece. They fixed up the Parthenon. It's been broken for a long time, but they finally got to it. A little speck, a little paint. We're going to flip this thing. The Mini 2 has a 10 kilometer range, which is good for going far away, but it's also good for penetration. penetration. And by that, I mean building penetration through trees, that kind of thing. So today we're going to take it around the Parthenon at about 20 feet off the ground and see what kind of penetration, penetration it has. So he's going to go around the other side of the building. We got the corners covered. He's going to be my spotter for the other side and we'll see what happens. Roger Dodger. Roger. Eagle 1 to Turducken 2, are you in position? Over. Unit 1 is, Unit 2 is not. I have not heard a response from Unit 2. 10 4, taking off. OcuSync 2 is really amazing. It should handle this just fine. I have confidence. I'll buzz our friend here. There he is. Still full signal. No glitches. I'm going to go up so I don't hit a lamppost. Let's see how it's handling the shadows here. Now this photographer person said that it's okay if I want to fly over them. So I'm going to do just that. <laughs> Don't freak out, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Shooting the gap. All right, signal weak, but we're still good coming out the other side. And there he is. There's my little buddy. That was a good flight. By now you might be wondering to yourself, how come he's not showing the video from the actual drone itself? Well, if you look in the upper left-hand corner of the display, you'll see an SD card error message. I noticed that just like you did, but it shows that it's recording. And I've gotten this error message before and it has been fine. Well, unfortunately, this time it wasn't fine. And when I got home, to my horror, it didn't record any video from the drone. Let's take just a moment to learn a little bit about SD cards. This is a SanDisk SD card with a C10 rating. This is intended for still photography for the most part. I took this SD card right out of the Mini 1 and put it into the Mini 2 for this shoot. Well, the card isn't fast enough. There's a rating that you need to look for when you're recording in 4K and that is this U rating. This is a U3 card and it is the highest speed, read write speed for micro SD cards. This is something that you can so easily take for granted is that every SD card is gonna be fast enough for what your needs are. Well, the writing on them are just so teeny tiny. I mean, my old eyes, I can't see without a magnifier. So do check your SD cards and make sure that you have one that is fast enough. That is the U3 that you want. That is the fastest. You wanna use that for all of your 4K video recording needs. I will put a link in the description to the ones that I bought after I realized I still had this one. Most of my cards lying around, I have like 50 of them sitting around. Most of them are U3, but this one I happen to have in the Mini 1, and it worked fine with the 2.7K, but it is not fast enough for 4K. So I'm going to make certain that I will never again ever accidentally use this card. But luckily I still have the screen recording for you to see. And now here comes somebody that wants to be on YouTube. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? 
Hey, how you doing? Good. What's your name? Ken. Ken, nice to meet you. This is don't don't neglect my YouTube audience. Oh. Yeah, say hi. Is live? <laughs> We're live oh. worldwide. Oh. Million subscribers. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? What's the project about? Uh, I was seeing if I could fly around the building without interference, and I can. Oh. Are you are you into drones? Uh, I don't know anything, but I like it. It's very cool. You want to try it? <laughs> okay, you gotta okay. teach me. This is probably the easiest drone to, to fly ever. Oh, okay. See, look, I'm not even, I'm not even touching it. Okay. The controller. Uh, I, I can put it down. I'm still flying. That's how easy it is. Hey, yeah, there's us right there. <laughs> this is up and down. Okay. This spins left and right. Okay. Don't worry about that one so much. Cool. There you go. Go higher. Go really high. See if you can get a shot of the Parthenon. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Now go up higher. Wow. There you go. Oh my god. Isn't that neat? That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, you want one, don't you? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make sure you use my affiliate link when you buy one. <laughs> <laughs> Push that to the right again and you'll go out over the field. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. It's fast, isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it fun to fly? Yes! Look at me! <laughs> there you go. Ready, and hold the left stick all the way down. Just hold it down. Keep going. Hold it down. Hold it down. Wow! <laughs> Look what you did. You landed a drone. Wow! So cool! Oh my gosh! <laughs> You're talking about me being cool, not the drone? Yes, you are Of course. Being cool. So cool! <laughs> All right, we're here in uh, downtown Nashville, just off of Broadway. There's Broadway down there. Believe it or not, there's people partying and the bars are open. I don't see a lot of masks, man. Govich Movid, right? But the reason why we're here is the Bat Building, AKA AT&T. The tallest building in Nashville by only a couple of feet now because this building was recently constructed. And because of the facade on the top, it is geographically a little bit taller, but from the tip to the ground, not as tall as our beloved Bat Building. So we're going to try to find an inconspicuous place to launch from, away from the street, a little bit above everyone, out of sight of the main door. Now, what I'm doing is not illegal. I just don't want to have to deal with security guards. You know what I mean? The great thing about the Mini, too, is I don't look like I have a drone until I do. <laughs> According to AirMap, we're good to go. I already have Lance approval. Take off. Another great thing about the Mini is it just doesn't draw attention. Now, I'll give you a a view of where we're flying over. That's us down there. So we're not over the street. All good and legal like. Such a beautiful building. No wind warnings. Oh, that's so good. Flight altitude exceeds 390 feet. Oh, okay. Well, it's saying don't go above 400 feet. As I am a part 107 pilot, FA rules state that I can go 400 feet away from or above my target. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna stop right there. 561 feet. And it's tempting to go and fly through the, the ears, but I don't know. Let me just give you guys a, a, a view of where we are. Downtown Nashville, such great architecture coming up on Nissan Stadium. Look at that, and you can see the shadow of the AT&T building in the stadium as we approach the golden hour here. I got, I got plenty of signal, plenty of battery. What do you think, man? Should, 
Should I go through Keep the ear? Going. <laughs> I will lose the drone behind the building if I go too far that way. So I'm just gonna go around this 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 one tip here. You still got your eye on it? I still have it. Alright. There we go. Oh yeah, that nice. Good, good, good. Oh, beautiful. I just seen the shadow go across. <laughs> All right, you still got it? Yes. Oh yeah, I cannot believe I can see it from here. I can still see it. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's right freaking there. You can see you can see a mini two from like 600 feet. I still have this one. If you got your contacts on. All right. That's enough of that. I'm getting nervous. Look at my hand. This is how exciting flying the drone in the city is. Awesome. I got to come down now. But before I leave our little friendly airspace here, I'm going to come back around and try to get a nice shot of the AT&T sign and the reflective glass. We're still, you still see it, right? Yeah. There's no building between us and it. Okay, so there we go. There's, there's the AT&T sign. It doesn't feel like it's a, a little bitty drone. It, it feels like I'm flying a Phantom or something. Oh, wow, look at that. Should I fly through the hole? <laughs> I know that's what everybody's saying. Do it, do it! No, absolutely not. Can you imagine if something happened? In an effort to be responsible, I'm not going to do it, and I don't recommend that anybody else does it. But I will give you this beautiful vertigo shot back on out to reveal. Oh, that's so nice. And now, straight down, real fast. Look at the city. One of the great things about the Mini, too, is that you can move the gimbal a little bit up from horizontal, and that is cool. That's a setting in the Go app. Look at that. I could spend all day in Nashville just flying the buildings. Beautiful. I'm still using the same battery from the Parthenon. Ha <laughs> ha. Welcome home, friend. I love you. Oh, that was so fun. And we didn't draw any attention. Nothing bad happened. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you for your help, Keith. Thanks, yeah, you know what they say. Yeah. I'm a pillar of the community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have made a great shot if only I'd been able to see the teeny tiny LCD screen on the camera in the bright sunshine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned some valuable lessons in this video. Until next time, buh and bye. You might want to left that guy for this, huh? I knew, I knew you needed your cardio. The Mini 2 is said to have a 10 kilometer range. Range is good, but it's all about the penetration, right? <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll edit that out. <laughs> or will we? <laughs>